Hey guys and welcome to this brand new episode on Keyclock. Today I'm going to show you how to create a custom provider inside Keyclock Corcus version. So as you can see on my screen, I have opened IntelliJ and inside that I have created a Docker file definition. The image for this Docker has been sourced from Keyclock 22.0.1. Then there are a set of statements that I have added to make sure that we can run the Keyclock on our local machine. So we are specifying the user, we are running a key tool to generate the self signed certificate. Also there is a copy command which will copy our custom provider implementation to the standard folder of Keyclock. So the name of that folder is opt keyclock slash provider. This is a path from which the custom providers will be picked up. Then there are a bunch of environment variables and the most important statement is that we are indicating that we need to build this custom provider inside the key clock so the command to run that is opt so the file name is kc.sh and to that we are passing the argument as well and finally we are providing an entry point so that our key clock can get started so there are a bunch of statements or a bunch of arguments that has changed uh, you need to provide the shell script reference the kc.sh it is located inside opt key clock bin folder followed by the start command and since we are using the self signed certificate, we are just saying that ignore the host name. Uh, any strict validations that you have for the host name verification, please ignore that. And then, then the optimized argument to make sure that a key clock gets started in an optimized mode. Let's go ahead and have a quick look at our custom provider. So, to begin with, I created a factory class. The name of the factory class is random number generator factory, it is implementing the authenticator factory. And then you need to implement bunch of methods. The most important method is indicating that, you know, what is the display type? These are like, you know, some of the textual information that will help you to locate your custom provider. We are talking about the requirement choices, which indicates that at this point of time, our step is going to be required. Now this can depend upon the custom provider that you are implementing. I have kept it as required for the time being. Then we are also returning our custom provider reference. So the name of the method is create. Inside that we are providing the reference of the custom provider. In our case, it is random number generator and we are passing the key clock session to it. And finally, we need to also provide a unique ID. In this case, the provider ID is nothing but carbon rider hyper OTP. You can name it anything you want, but make sure that it remains unique. Let's go ahead and quickly have a look at our custom provider implementation. So I'll open that file. So the name of the class is random number generator. It is extending abstract username form authenticator. I just wanted to quickly make use of some of the built in methods that are available inside the key clock default form authenticator. It is not necessary that you need to extend this. You can also provide your custom implementation. Now there are two important methods that you need to have a look at. First is the action method and then there is an authenticate method. Inside the authenticate method, you can implement your custom logic to generate your OTP or to generate any uh, custom string or you want to send an email. It all depends upon your implementation. In this case, I'm just using a default implementation that comes with Keyclock. So I'm generating a response and I'm returning that I'm challenging that response to a contest. What will happen is that behind the scene, it will end up calling a create login form method. And in my case, I just wanted to show a dummy or a reference implementation of the OTP. And that is where I am returning a create login TOTP screen from the form object. Okay, So this will end up generating a screen with a one single input to enter any number. Once the user enters the OTP, the action method will get called and inside this action method, you can verify your logic, whatever the data that the user has entered, it can be verified. In my case, since I have not generated the OTP, I'm just going to accept whatever number that the user has entered and I'm going to simply print it to the console. Finally, I'm going to invoke the success method on the contest to indicate that the step has been successfully verified. Let's go ahead and also look at how we can register this provider or this factory inside the key clock to do that make sure that you have meta nf slash services folder inside that you will create a file and you will name it as org.keyclock.authentication.authenticator factory 
this indicates that we are going to create a custom authenticator factory there are a lot of custom providers are available in our case you are just making use of the authenticator factory i will open this file inside this we are provided the complete path of our factory so you'll see that it is starting with the package name followed by the name of the factory class and that's all you need to do in order to make sure that you have the custom provider in place Let's go ahead and quickly build our artifacts. So to begin with, I'm going to first build the char file. So the command to do that is mun clean package. We'll execute that and it should build our jar file in few seconds. Okay, we have two source files and that has been done. Let's go ahead and also build our custom image. So to do that, I'm going to execute the Docker build. I'm going to specify some name to this particular image and i'm indicating that the docker file definition is available in the current directory let's execute that this should take a little bit of time depending upon whether you have downloaded the key clock image earlier or not in case if it is available in cache it will just move ahead quickly and it will start building the custom provider uh, and it will add it to the image all right so we are done with that step as well let's go ahead and start our key clock so the command to do that is docker run followed by two ports that i'm going to execute 8443 and 9080 i'm going to specify the name for the container few environment variables to make sure that there is an admin user available and then i'm just going to remove this particular container once it is stopped let's go ahead and execute that okay it has started the key clock in initializing few uh it's finalizing few initialization steps it is initializing the master realm and very quickly we should also see that the admin user is getting added yes the user has been added and that ensures that the key clock has been started now that the key clock has started let's go ahead and quickly check whether our custom provider is available so i'll open the chrome browser and i will hit the url https localhost 8443 this will give you a warning because our certificate is a self-signed certificate let's just ignore that and quickly jump to the administration console the username and password that we have supplied into arguments is admin admin i'll click on sign in this will open the master run let's go ahead and first click on the authentication and you will see that there are some of the built-in browser flows or built-in flows which are available i will create a duplicate copy of the existing flow so that we can add our own custom step into it i will name this as carbon rider flow i will keep the description as is and i will click on duplicate button now you see that there are a bunch of statements which are available inside that i'm going to add my own custom step and Congratulations, you can see that your custom provider is actually available there. So I'll just select this and click on add. It will get added at the bottom. We can just leave this as is. Let's go ahead and create a custom client so that we can demonstrate how this particular functionality works. I'm going to name this particular client as my web client. Next, I'm going to keep the standard flow. We don't want direct access grant click on next the root url is going to be localhost valid redirect url is going to be forward slash click on save this will create our client let's go ahead and click on advance so that we can configure the custom flow the authentication flow that we have created i'll click on carbon rider flow click save button this will save the changes now let's go ahead and create a sample user I'll click on add user button. I will name this user as carbon. I'll keep the email as verified. I will use my email address. And then I will click on create button. We need to also set the password for this user. So the password is carbon. Oh, confirmation is carbon. Temporary I will turn it off and then I will save it. Save the password. All right, so we have created a custom authentication flow. We have created a custom client. Now let's go ahead and test it. So I configured a dummy URL. I don't have any client application at this point of time. 
so I'm just going to generate a URL uh, we need to use a different browser so that we can quickly check this okay it is showing us a login screen I will enter the name of the user as carbon followed by the password this will display us the OTP screen and inside this let me quickly show the console it is saying that it is starting the custom authentication I will enter some code over here four five six one two three click on sign in this will complete the login process and it will redirect to the local host because that was the redirect URI that I mentioned and I don't have any application running on that but if I just go back to the key clock console you will see the custom messages over here it says enter OTP is 456123 and that's a sta same statement that we have added inside our custom provider have a look at it so we have this logger statement and it captured the same OTP that we entered 456123 so congratulations you just learned how to create a custom provider and configure it inside the key clock Corcus version I will see you soon in the next video. Till then, take care and build something.